review. Food review. Food review. Hey everybody, my name is Jumble and welcome back to the next episode of Food Review. Today, we're going to be reviewing ham and cheese toasties. So let's get making them. All right, excuse the camera's shadow over here. But to make this, you need ham, margarine or butter, and cheese. And of course, the main ingredient, bread. All right, so using a plate or a chopping board, it's probably easier with a chopping board, but I don't have one of those. Grab yourself some bread. I'm personally gonna have two sandwiches. So four pieces of bread, and you want to butter four pieces of bread, like so. Once you've got your bread buttered, the next step is to get out a sandwich press, or as you Americans might know it, a panini press. Now that the sandwich press is plugged in, it's gaining heat, you want to put your bread, butter or margarine side down. And this is where the fun part comes in. You can, oh, 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 the, the, the camera's falling, one, one second. So once you've got your bread on, you get your ham. This way using Don double smoked ham. It's very nice, I recommend. For ultimate flavor, I suggest put two or more slices on each. So because I'm not the only one eating ham, I'm just gonna use two slices on each piece of bread. Just trying to cover the whole piece of bread so you don't have a bite without ham. We get the cheese, try to open the cheese, but my hands are now a bit oily from the ham. So ideally, you want this to be done quickly so the bread on the bottom doesn't overcook because you haven't even put your bread on top first, you know what I'm saying? So okay, once that's all good, you get your cheese, see? But you don't get, you don't use all your cheese, you just put one slice on each because it'll melt out around to everything else, all right? And then you chuck your other two pieces of bread on once that's all done and you press it down. Uh, keep checking and cook until it's good, but I'm gonna cut to when it's fully cooked. Okay, so we're about, hmm, I'd say maybe two minutes into the cooking process. Hmm, they're looking okay, but they could still do with another 10, maybe three minutes. All right, so let's check again. It's been about another minute, I'd say. If you run a knife over it, and it makes a nice crispy sound, you know it's good. Okay, that's good. So we then use the knife to gently press it off. Flip it over to see if it's all right. Now you guys can't see me taking it off because the sandwich press is in the way. But let me quickly put the sandwich press out of the way and I'll cut the food, go back into my room and review it. Okay. So I've now made the, re I've now made the food and it's time to review it. So what do we have here? Let's just recap. We got the ingredients, we uh, put the sandwich together and then cut it up and ate it. Well, and then cut it up to test it. So. These are ham and cheese toasties. Um, very nice, look at that. Oh, you can't really see it, but look at that cheese stretch. Oh, beautiful. And now we just give it a try. Now this is actually my dinner. I'm not just making this for the purpose of the video. I'm making this because I was going to eat it anyway. Mmm. Oh. Wow. Mmm. I don't mean to just brag, but this is the best ham and cheese toastie I've had for a while. The saltiness of the ham really complements the cheesiness of the cheese, you know the softness of the cheese. And altogether, the whole taste of ham mixed with cheese is extremely nice. Now, unfortunately today, I can't really tell you the nutrition information of one of these, but for a quick lunch, these things are really nice, even for a quick dinner, you know? Maybe experiment with the ingredients, maybe add some salami, maybe add some ham, maybe make a mini pizza. You know, some tomato sauce, pepperoni and cheese. Just anything. But, mmm, yeah. This food, I'm telling you, is really nice. This is the best ham and cheese toasty I've ever had for a long time. If I was to rate this, I'd rate it eight. I'd rate it eight, people. That's how good it is. Anyway, with all that being said, I think I'm gonna go and enjoy this off camera. So, if you guys enjoyed this food review, liked the different formats since the last one, you know me showing me making it, leave a like. Mmm. And until next time, my name is Jumble and I'll see you people in the next video.